If you are one of those users that think that they need to have a smaller text size, or you think that you don't have enough space to put the visualizations, or it looks too big, it looks too small, you need to watch this video. Here's the thing. We're going to talk about one of the most important settings in Power BI Report that probably is the most overlooked. Let's get started. So what is this mysterious setting that is so important? It is actually here, the canvas setting. So the actual size of the report. Why does it matter? Well, we're going to go through the theory a little bit, and then I'm going to go back to Power BI and show you in practice what it actually means. You need to make this setting right from the beginning, because if you change it afterwards, you will have to redesign everything, and it's such a pain to do. So let's get started with the theory, and then we'll do the practice in Power BI. So if you have a background in design, you know this. But for us that comes from other backgrounds, this is not easy to know. And it is so, so, so important. Here's the thing. The first thing that we're going to talk about is aspect ratio. Most TVs and most computer screens have an aspect ratio, especially nowadays, of 16 to 9. This is not about the size of the screen. We'll talk about the size of the screen later. This is about the proportions of the screen. So this means that it's 16 wide and 9 height. Okay? So it's not the size. Then you can have 16, 9 this big or that big or that big, right? So to exemplify size and aspect ratio, so this image says it all. We have a 55 inches. TV. 55 is the size of the TV, so it's the measure from here to here, from one corner to the other, right? And if you have a 55 inches TV that has a resolution, aspect resolution of 21 to 9, and you're watching 16 to 9 content, you're going to get black bars on the side because the content is not big enough. Some TVs nowadays, they have the fit or feel that will actually stretch the image, but obviously you're going to lose a lot of quality if you do that. If you don't want to lose the quality, you see it, watch it in the original size and then you get the bars. If you have a 55 inch TV that has an aspect ratio of 6 to 9, and your content is 6 to 9, you will see everything, right? And then so on and so forth. I, I know that you get the details. So what has aspect ratio to do with Power BI? It's all about the resolution. So the settings that you get in Power BI are about resolution. And because most TVs and screens nowadays have a 6 to 9 resolution, aspect ratio, sorry, so the resolution will be accordingly. So resolution is based on the aspect ratio and is a multiple of it. So my computer, you can actually see these. Let me show you. So if you go here, display settings i have two screens this is my computer screen and this is my big external monitor so my computer screen has a resolution of 3840 to 2400 which is <laughs> insane and then the other one which is my wide screen that i showed you before so it has 3440 times 1440 you would expect because it's a bigger screen that it will have more pixels, it doesn't really have to because it's all about the, you know, if you have a 4K, if you have a full HD, if you have, right, the, these are, you know, when they are selling you TVs, they are selling you all this denomination. What it means is actually how many pixels do you actually can fit into your screen. The bigger the number of pixels, the better the resolution, the better the image, okay? But most common screen sizes are actually 1920 to 1080. There is a web page that tracks this. It's actually quite wonderful. So this is for the worldwide. I will post a link down below. And you can see here, 1920, 1080 is the most common size. So 22% of the computers worldwide will have that setting. Does it mean that you should have that setting in Power BI, mm, not really, because it depends on 
what screen resolution you expect your users to have. For example, if you go to India, the screen resolution is completely different. It's 1366 times 768, right? And then you have for tablets, and then so the thing is like, okay, <laughs> so what should I pick then? Well, if you know your audience, you can start Google Analytics, for example, or any web analytics, and they'll tell you what the size of the screen of your users are. If you are designing for the wide public, you need to compromise. You cannot make it like super big, but you don't want to make it very, very small either. You need to compromise regarding what you think your users will have for size and what you actually want to do, what do you want to put in your canvas? Because depending on what you want to do, you will hit the eight points text size limitation that you have in Power BI. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go to Power BI and I'm going to show you what that actually means. Right, so here we are with Miguel Mayer's report that we talked about. You've probably seen it already. And this was designed a custom size of 1920 to 1230, which is like, hmm, why not pick? Well, let me show you. I'm going to put like here the table that we saw on the web that has the most common resolutions to the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So for 16 to 9 aspect ratio, the normal canvas size would have been 1920, but then here it should be 1080. And if you do this, do you see how it's just like it zooms in and suddenly you can see the difference from here to here that the footer is gone. <laughs> suddenly there's no place for footers. It just disappeared. Uh, why he exactly picked that camera size, I don't know, but maybe he has a way to know the actual size of the users and then you can just decide for it and they're going to see a pixel perfect power bi report okay so you remember this is the most common size for screens and tv so if you design for this size you're probably going to hit a big chunk of your users but i want you to see what happens when you start going down so we're going to go down a notch we're going to go to the next most common size or something, I wouldn't say that it's the next most common size, but it's something, it's a resolution that a lot of people design for. It is 600, 1600, and then we have here 900 is the actual multiples. Not 980, but 900. And here you can start seeing that things are starting to get very, very, very small. In a, whoops. I actually redesigned this report in the different screen resolutions. Just wait for it until the end and I'll show you how they look when they are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. It was a pain to do, but what I won't do for you, right? So this is 1600 to 900, very, very common size. I, I guess it's because they are trying to gap between the most common and the, the, the rest of the people. So it's like, like in, in between size that might work but as you can see we've lost a chunk of our visualizations so you need to get all these visuals and make it smaller and that's why i say you need to pick the setting first you need to design how big or the resolution of your report because otherwise you will have to redesign everything so let me show you one of the other ones that are very very common and is this one probably for power bi is the most common and i will tell you why in a second you will understand why to duplicate and i'm going to pick 1280 times 720. here you can see that it's really 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 zoomed in you really have to do things very very small in order to see this and the reason why I know, or I'm guessing, I don't know, but I'm guessing, it's a qualified guess, I would say, that this is the most common size in Power BI is because it is the custom one. So when you open a Power BI report, if you haven't changed it in the settings, you will get a 16 to 9 size, which are Power BI's standard is the 1280 times 7020, right? And here, in this design, is where you have problems because when you're trying to get something below the eight points take size you're not able to 
it doesn't allow you because you won't be visible if you have a screen that's small anything in that text point size it won't be visible you can see it in a bigger screen but you will not be able to see it in a screen that is that small <laughs> okay or well, with that few pixels maybe that's the correct because it has nothing to do with size right so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you the redesign uh, Power BI report. So the report where I actually changed the canvas size and did the redesign to try to fit everything. And you will see the difference very, very clear. So here it is. You have the 1920-1230, the one that Miguel Meyers used to send this report. And it looks like this. The text is small. If you're in my screen, if I put this report in my bigger screen, obviously it gets bigger because of bigger screen, but the definition is not the same. Then we have 1920 to 1080, which is the six to nine size, recommended size. And as you can see, I didn't redesign these, but if you remember, the footer just, it's just gone. <laughs> it just didn't have any place. And then for the 1600, 900, I make everything smaller. Now, here, this table is size 8 already. So if we go and look into the properties, you see values 8 already has 1600. I am hitting the lowest of the size for this table. And then obviously when you're doing it at the standard Power BI size, you know, this 8 is the smallest, which is it looks bigger, you know, because again, we're zooming out, but we cannot make the text smaller. And then that's where we're getting in trouble where fitting the tables because the text is too small. So if you have a visualization where you see that the text is too small and you know that your users will be able to visualize it with their screens, go up in canvas size. Okay. So in summary, which canvas settings should you have for your Power BI report? Well, first of all, if you can find out the screen types that you have in your company or for your users, then you would be able to create pixel perfect reports there using the same or almost the same. If you don't, <laughs> then 1920 is the most common setting out there. So if you want to compromise because you have between 1920 and 1280, you can pick the 1600 that is in the middle, right? That could help. Otherwise, go to the website that I gave you and it will give you an idea of what is available in your country. So you can at least try to do the best for, for the most users. Remember to set this setting in the beginning because if you change it afterwards, you will have to redesign everything. If you feel that your text size is too small, go up in size, but know that if you go up in size, some users with small screens and bad resolution won't be able to visualize your report very, very well. There is no setting in Power BI that says, keep it as is and put scroll bars. Right, so it will keep the resolution and then you scroll. Tableau has it, Power BI does not. I'm not saying it's good or bad, I, I leave it unsaid. So they will not be able to see it clearly. Now, with the bigger screen resolutions, you're zooming out in a smaller screen. So text will get very, very small. Find who your audience is. If your audience is a bit older, they will have difficulties to see. Maybe you don't want to have that big screen resolution. Maybe you want to have it smaller so they will actually be able to see because you're zooming in instead of zooming out, right? So there is a trade-off of everything. And just experiment with it. Moreover, just try to find out what your users use and shoot for it. I hope that these video was useful to you and it allows you to create a better design pixel perfect reports for your users. See you in the next one.